Hi, Phyllis here, southernfrugal.com. This afternoon we're going to make some lasagna, and I'm going to make it in two, can y'all see them? Uh, two uh, Pyrex dishes, and let me measure them for you. I know they're three inches deep, and they measure nine and a half by almost eight inches. So these are those Pyrex uh, dishes that come with the red lid. Anyway, I'm going to make two of them. One of them I'm going to put in the freezer, and the other we're going to have for supper tonight. So I've already got my lasagna cooked, my noodles, and I've already cooked two cups of multicolored peppers, cut up in little squares, and one cup of onion. So I sauteed those in uh, olive oil. And I've already cooked my hamburger. Actually, it's ground sirloin, 90% lean. And I think this was a pound and a half, if I recall. That's what I think it was. Anyway, to that, I'm going to add about three-fourths of the jar of this uh, spaghetti sauce, and this is 24 ounces. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to use about three-fourths of that. Maybe not quite three-fourths. Yeah, about two-thirds, excuse me. And we're just going to mix that hamburger up in there, and this is going to be one of our layers in the lasagna, and this is probably going to be the middle layer. I'm going to go ahead and put my peppers and onions in this one also. A whole bunch of peppers and onions. A lot more uh, vegetables than meat is kind of my aim. And, and this is all done too, by the way. So that's something to remember when we start cooking this in the oven. All right, and I will be cooking this at 325 degrees, probably 30 to 45 minutes, just till the cheese gets melted and it gets bubbly. All right, so we're going to make our cheese layers. Now I've got one large egg, and actually it was a jumbo egg because Mr. Bucky went to the store for me. And he said the only ones that had a really good date were jumbo eggs. So this is a jumbo. I'm just going to beat that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my spices to the egg. So I'm going to use some parsley flakes. Probably about a tablespoon or so. If I can get it out. Start like that. Maybe a little more than a tablespoon. And that's dried parsley. And I'm going to also put in some onion powder. Again, maybe a couple of teaspoons. And also some garlic powder, about two teaspoons of that also. Now we're just going to mix that up in that egg. And now we're ready to add our cottage cheese. Now, let me get a spatula to use. Yeah. And th this is going to make up our cheese layer. So this is two cups. Now, I'm not, I already used some of this in a smoothie this morning. So that left about two cups of cottage cheese. I'm just going to put that in. Mix that in well with the eggs. Now we're going to end up, uh, I'm going to want four layers. Oh, really, that, that just really means two layers in each pan that I'm fixing. And now to this, I'm going to also add about a half a cup of Parmesan. Just put that in, about a half a cup. Just mix that up. And that egg is going to help it uh, hold together when we cut the lasagna. Because I like to cut it and see it in a pretty little line, you know, where 
doesn't come all apart. And so what the egg does is makes that happen. All right, that's probably mixed up thorough enough. Smells really good. All right, so we've got our cheese layer and we've got our pepper, onion, and uh, spaghetti sauce and ground sirloin, which has very, very little fat. And I've already cooked my noodles over here. They are, and I've got them in some cool water. Didn't mean to jiggle, y'all. I've got them in some cool water, and I've cut them to size so they fit in my pans. I've also got enough to make a little layer of baby spinach. And that's probably a good three cups of sliced mushrooms. All right, so we're going to get ready and put this together. So I'm going to move y'all over to the other side, so hold on. All right, I got y'all over on the other side. Now we're preheating the oven to 325. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start making these. Now we had uh, those little pizza uh, on uh, English muffins last night. And I used about half this jar. I'm gonna use the rest of it as the first layer in the bottom of the pans. Just divide it out equally, so that's about I'm not sure, maybe half a cup in each one. And we'll just spread that around a little bit. Yeah, your first layer, I think when you're making lasagna, always needs to be the sauce in the bottom. Or at least that's the way I've always fixed it. Sauce first. Go. Now we're ready for some noodles. Now I cut about three inches off my noodles so they will fit in the pan. So I'm just going to put them right down in the bottom. And that fits perfectly. All right, so the next layer is going to be the cheese. And I'm going to want an extra layer of this cheese. So what I'm going to do, just to make sure I have enough, I'm going to add about a cup of mozzarella cheese. Now I'm going to save the rest of it to go on top. So that's about a cup. We'll just mix that all in. So we've actually got three cheeses. We've got Parmesan, cottage cheese and mozzarella cheese and the egg to hold everything together. All right, so now I'm gonna divide this into four sections because I want two layers in each bowl. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna dip it out right in there. Like that. We need to put our noodles on the other one here. I hope y'all can see okay. Yeah, I can't get everything in the camera here. Alright, that noodle is too long. And I want it to be neat looking, so I'm going to just cut that off right there. Now we're going to put a layer of cheese in this one. And then just spread that out as best you can. on. Oop, that one is too long too. I did not do a very good job of cutting these. There. Oops. 
Okay, I just didn't cut them right at all. The scissors. Cut this one off too. All right, so now we're ready for our next layer. Now I'm going to make the next layer the baby spinach. And this is, of course, not cooked. I'm just going to spread it on there. some of the mushrooms. Now these mushrooms of course are not cooked so they are going to uh, have some water in them. So that's why everything is more dry because the mushrooms will definitely add water to there. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, hamburger and pepper mixture right on top of those mushrooms. Now this is going to be a very hearty lasagna, I would think. Just spread that out evenly. Now again, it probably seems dry to you but not to worry about that because those mushrooms are going to release their moisture and so is the spinach. It will definitely become more watery. And it doesn't take long, of course, for the mushrooms to cook or for the spinach to cook for that matter. So we're talking 30 minutes, 45 minutes at the most in the oven at 325 degrees. All right, I want to do it. Now we're going to add the rest of the uh, spaghetti sauce right on top of this. Not the rest of it, but a little bit of it. I'll spread that out. Yeah, I used to have a big lasagna Pyrex pan. You know, when the kids were all here and all, and I fix a great big pan of it. And now, we don't ever eat that much, so I actually sold my lasagna pan at a garage sale. Alright, so now we're ready for the next layers, and I hope these are cut right. They're not. Just clipping them off with my scissors. Alright, so we're ready to put this layer down. And we need two more on the other one. Cutting that one too. Yeah, you can't really make these shorter when they're dry. You have to wait till the, the lasagna noodles are cooked. All right, so now we're ready for our final layer of the cheese mixture. So I'm just going to put that right on top. See if we can spread this out just a little bit. Using my hands also. Now, I don't want to get it too full because I sure don't want it to bubble out in my oven. Alright, now we're ready for the rest of the spaghetti sauce. Just going to pour that right on top of the cheese. Now we're ready for the 
rest of the noodles. And these are still too long. I really didn't measure right, did I? Let's see, I'll cut them on at one time. Place this right on top, like so. And now we're ready for our final layer. Just mashing that down of cheese. So I'm going to use some mozzarella cheese first. And you want to really try to get all of that pasta covered so that you don't have any hard edges. All right. Let that little melt over the pasta there in the, so it doesn't get hard in the oven. All right, now I'm going to also sprinkle a little of the Parmesan cheese on top of this. You notice I really didn't put any salt in anything because, well, I actually cooked the pasta with some salt in that water. And I put a little bit in the meat, but other than that, I didn't add any extra salt. So we're ready to uh, bake this in the oven. Now, I, I generally, uh, when things have cheese on them, I don't like to bake over uh, 325 degrees because cheese does not like high temperatures. So, and so I'm thinking 30 to 45 minutes and these ought to be done. Now again, the bowls are three inches deep. All right, so we're gonna put them in the oven. If I see my cheese is getting too brown, I'm gonna, I'll be putting tin foil over it. All right, once this gets done, we'll be back. Okay, the lasagna is done now, and I did tell y'all wrong. It had to cook an hour and a half. Yeah, and I did have to put tin foil over both of them in the oven so they didn't burn on top. There's what it looks like on the bottom. All right, so we're not going to be cutting this for probably another good hour because I want it to come out, you know, so you can still see the layers in there. All right, we'll be back when we're ready to eat. Okay, we're ready to eat now, and here's the lasagna. I turned my little camera light on so that y'all could see the little layers in there. There's mine. And we're having the uh, pecan rolls with them and green beans and iced tea. Now we've been having a lot of salads recently, so I thought, why don't we just have some green beans tonight? So the uh, lasagna that I made is going to uh, make for us uh, six servings left. Now this I'm gonna freeze the whole thing. And this is probably gonna be our supper tomorrow night because after church, we're probably gonna go out and eat somewhere. So we'll be having this for supper tomorrow night, but this one gets frozen and we'll have it whenever. Now just remember, if Stouffer's can freeze lasagna, we can all freeze it too. And it does turn out quite well. I actually like it better after it's been frozen and then thawed out and reheated. It just make, it makes it more mellow, I think. But anyway, this is our supper for tonight. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time.